All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekha Kodash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles, bishops, and elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. I write it your brother Kabad from GMS Heavy Honor 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. It's coming back with a quick video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right. And um, just a very quick video today. Shalaki, through the spirit, just to prove, because we get into uh, 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 starting with our apostles, our bishops, and the elders. All the time we get into uh, pretty much how knowledge has been increased throughout this uh, throughout the time period that we are in now. All right, so there's no excuse why your uh, why your phone <laughs> should be smarter than you, okay? Because we're in the age of information, we're in the age of understanding. All right, and then furthermore, we have our apostles and our elders. All right, and the bishops uh, to to feed us with sound wisdom and instructions. All right, now if I may, let's hold this image real quick. Because I just want to prove that you know everything is realistically in a um uh uh pretty much in a you can type and find out in, in Google a lot of information that's right uh right up under your nose, so to speak, man. All right. Um I believe it was a Rockefeller that made the quote, and I may be um if I'm misquoted, could a brother or sister, Baba Kasha, put the uh, right uh comment who who made the quote in the um in the uh, comment section, but I believe it was a Rockefeller that made the comment that, you know, the internet was was one of the worst things that could have happened for humanity, all right? But in retrospect, you know, spiritually, you know, um, it was a, a blessing for the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man, all right? That just furthermore proves when the scriptures say uh, the election will obtain it, all right? And then pursuing the Psalms 19 as well, when, when he get, gets into the internet scriptures, all right, but uh, what I want to get real quick, and I might just get those scriptures as well for edification's sake, but uh, let me get uh, Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 15. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Now it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. All right, so the Lord is letting us know. All right, matter of fact, let's start at 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord Yahweh, for I am married unto you. I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with the knowledge and understanding. All right, in the time periods that we're in now, hey, those are uh, pastors, all right, are the apostle bishops and elders here at Great Millstone, which are doing what? Feeding us with knowledge and understanding of the scriptures, all right, because Revelation 1 and 3 lets us know all right, let's read that real quick. Revelation 1 and 3. What does it let us know? It let us know, blessed is he that readeth, and, and they that keep the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So the word blessed, all right, meaning that, hey, that we have the, the Spirit, the Holy Spirit with us, man. All right, blessed, all right, separate, all right, holy, all right, is he that readeth, because whenever you're reading, you're understanding what you're reading. No different. Whenever you come approaching a stop sign, the words say stop, but the action really is to do what? Stop. So that, that lines up with James 1 and 22 when it tells us what? What does the scriptures tell us in uh, James 1 verse 22? It says, be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. So that's plain. Whenever you see a word, you have to do what the physical to to act out what the word is saying. You have to do it. Once again, a a, a a quick example is if you're driving your vehicle and you're approaching a four way stop, and you see the sign that says stop, your action should be okay. Let me stop the vehicle because this is what it's saying. So how much more when it comes to the scriptures of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, man? All right, that's why the scripture is saying, "Blessed is he that readeth." All right, and hear the words of this prophecy because. Only a, a, a lot of people pick up the, the scriptures, but they're not in the in the actions of, of doing, being the hearers and doers of the word. OK, now let's finish reading this real quick. James 1 and 22. Be ye 
doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Okay? For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened to a man beholding his natural face in a glass. Okay? So, hey, you got to be... um. You got to be hearing and doing the word, man. All right. Because if not, then it's, it's, it's going to be uh, uh, avoided, man. All right. What's the good in hearing the words and not acting out the words? All right. That's why we often say that love is an action word, man. All right. One thing, uh, don't tell don't don't tell the Lord, oh, I love you, Lord. But you have to show the Lord you love him. And first and foremost, you have to show the Lord that you love him by having that fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, because that is the beginning of wisdom and instructions. And as we go back to uh, what we opened up with, Jeremiah 3 and 15, all right, it says that the Lord has given us uh, pastors. All right, let's read it again. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, all right, to the, to the Lord's mind, all right? And it says, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, all right? And that knowledge and that feeding of knowledge and understanding is done here at Great Millstone, beginning with our apostles and our elders, man, the bishops on down. All right, because hey, these men are not only uh, uh, hearers of the word, they're doers of the words. Because guess what? We have a lot of uh, uh, guys in the circumcision, as the scriptures say, who miles must be uh, stopped. Because what? They they pretty much uh, turn the words of, of uh, uh, attempt to turn the words of the Most High because a uh, uh, the hopeful, humble, uh, fearful elect are not going to be persuaded away. All right, because if the Most High has you, then He has you. It's, it's point blank, period, ser uh, uh, clear as that. But um, let's get what I'm quoting real quick. I believe I'm quoting Titus. Let's get Titus. I believe it's down. Well, we'll see. Uh, uh, we'll start at verse uh, 10. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Now, remember that we read in James 1 and 22, it says, Be ye doers and, 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 and hearers of the word, all right, unless you're deceiving yourself. So this lets us know that there are a lot of deceivers, especially of the circumcision, because guess what? They're not they're not hearers nor doers of the words. All right. Or, or they might hear the word, but they don't do the word and they're not teaching the importance of hearing and doing the word. So those are, are what you consider deceivers, man. All right. Now, it says for there are Titus one and ten, for there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcisions who mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not. For filthy lucre's sake, because these guys, they want to, um, you know, pretty much, they want to lead the flock astray, all right, only for money and only for uh, a gain, lucrative gains that they can get, man, all right, and the Lord has given a warning to those type of prophets, uh, uh, so-called prophets, when he says this right here, let's get this real quick, in the book of, uh, what is that, I believe it's Jeremiah, 23rd chapter, and it says, Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, saith the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, say, therefore thus saith the Lord thy power of Israel against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock and driven them away and have not visited them. Behold, I will visit upon you the evil of your doings, saith the Lord Yahweh. All right. So and this is a. Uh, a warning and future prophecy for all those guys who try to um, pretty much that are that are misleading the flock of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, man. That's why we read in Jeremiah 3 and 15 about the Lord saying what he will give us pastors according to his heart, man. That's going to feed us with sound knowledge and understanding. And the apostles and the elders and the bishops here at Great Millstone have been doing that, man. All right. Giving us our, our, through the spirit. Uh, uh, our history, our knowledge, our wisdom and understanding back. Also letting the heathens know who they are as well, man. All right. Just all across the board, sound wisdom and understa uh, understanding. All right. Understanding the scriptures, understanding the dietary laws, pretty much to sum it all up, understanding the do's and the don'ts when it comes to serving the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls God and Jesus Christ. And even with that, hey, hey, the apostles and the elders and the bishops here at Great Millstone, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, has given us the true name to call on, man, in the times that we're that we're living in, man. All right, because there's so many scriptures about the Lord saying he's that, that his people are going to call on him and are, are calling on the Lord in your time of need and in, in the right name of the Lord, and the Lord is going to be there with you, man. All right. Now, let's get real quick. I'm going to jump gears 
real quick because I wanted to uh, focus on this particular uh, on uh, and brothers and a few aquabs. Y'all should know about Babylon, the two, Timbuktu, a book written by uh, a Jake named Rudolph Winsler. All right, and um, pretty much in page uh, uh, seventy, uh, page eighty four. It speaks about the, the, the Roman persecution that came amongst the nation of Israel between, uh, what, 66 AD, uh, 66 BC right here in, in 70 AD. All right. But the time of 70 AD was a time that the Negroes were pretty much the southern kingdom for that, for the most part. All right. The Negroes, the so, uh, the Judah, Judah, the so-called Negroes, uh, Benjamin, the so-called uh, uh, West Indians, Jamaicans and Levi, the so-called Haitians. This is the time that uh, over, and we're going to read the, the insert real quick, whenever uh, over a million slaves fled down into Africa, all right? Now, the importance of me wanting to bring this out is, as I'm going to title this video, don't let your, uh, don't let your phone be smarter than you in the age of information, all right? Because truly, we're in the age of information, all right? And we know that by, um, and I'm going to get those scriptures in Daniel, I'm going to get that scripture in uh, Habakkuk as well. Because the Lord speaks about what? Knowledge being increased in this place, man. And the time that has been increased has been now, man. All right. Now let's um let's gonna read we're gonna read this real quick. Because um the times that we're in, man, our people should know that who the true who the true JEWs are, man. Not only uh uh oh, well, not only by the um by by apostles and the elders bringing out artifacts and history facts on the highways and byways for years but also uh the scriptures tell us in acts 17 and we're going to get that as well about being uh like the church of berea who did a diligent search man and at the time that we're in now only the hopeful humble fearful elect are going to be doing a diligent search searching the scriptures daily to furthermore prove that these things are true and when you've proven these things are true Hey, the spirit's gonna the spirit's gonna rise up in you, and you're gonna be compelled to go to the highways and byways. And as the scriptures say, uh, bid our people to the marriage. Let them know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is on his way back to do what? As his name is, to redeem the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. And that one third, the remnant that the Lord is gonna have mercy on. Okay? Now let's read this article for edification's sake, because here it is, uh, uh, once again, we're telling our people that, hey, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that we are the JEWs, man, all right? The true JEWs, all right? Now, in Babylon, the Timbuktu, it says, in the year 65 BC, the Roman armies under General Pompey captured Jerusalem. In 70 AD, General Vespasian and his son Titus put an end to the Jewish state with a great slaughter, all right? And it says... During the period of the military governors of Palestine, uh, I'll put it, like, during the period of the military governors of Palestine, many outrages and atrocities were committed against the residue of the people. During the period from Pompey to Julius, it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, fleeing from the Roman persecution and slavery. The slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. OK, and, and, and that lets you know that the slave market was what? Full of full of people that looked alike, man. So how could a, how could um, a, a so-called because, you know, you have the people that's inhabiting our land now. All right. They'll say that they are the original people. But how could they blend themselves in in the slave market if they didn't look like everyone else, man? All right. So it's very important that our people know that uh, that was us during this uh, Jew, during this uh during this Roman uh, invasion that fled down into Africa, all right? And this is mainly how how our people got down into Africa, man, all right? And then furthermore, the, the scriptures tell us in Jeremiah 17 and 4 that hey, our people are going to be discontinued. And we see that our people are discontinued from their heritage. And then furthermore, to, to, to elaborate on that point, hey, the scriptures tell us in Psalms 83 about those who conspired to destroy Israel from being uh, pretty much having knowledge of who they are, man. All right. And that's keenly main uh, focuses on the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, because our people are the only people on the planet that doesn't know who they are, man. All right. That doesn't know who their power is, man. All right. And then that can't fit who the who's in the land right now, because those uh, those those people that's inhabiting the land now. All right. Those small hats, those fakes, those imposters. They'll tell you that they always knew their history. So it's like, where was the falling away? All right. How could that be fulfilled when Jeremiah said 
I even thyself. Matter of fact, let's get it real quick. Let's just get it. Let's get Jeremiah. We already there. We're going to just go over to 17 and 4. And it says, and, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. And that doesn't mean literally forever. That means for a period of time, man. Because once again, hey, that set me up perfectly. We're in the age of information and getting understanding. All right, having that breath blown back in us, man, a, uh, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and we have a chance at, at salvation. All right, now let's get. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and get. Um, uh, let's go ahead and get Daniel chapter twelve. And um, what was I holding on Titus? Uh, okay, we that's the spirit. We're just gonna move to uh, Daniel. Let's get Daniel real quick. Let's get Daniel chapter uh, twelve and verse four, and it says. But thou, O Daniel, shut up thy books and seal the books, even to the time of the end. And we're in those end times now, man. How do we know we're in those end times now? Because we're seeing a the Lord making his uh his his presence known, man. All right, through the prophecies that are taking place, man, through the uproars of the people, man, through the comfortability of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, from our eyes seeing our apostles and our elders on the highways and byways, man, to this truth being declared, to, to this truth. Uh, going up to the gates of the nobles, man. So, so there's many examples of how we know that we're in those end times, man. All right. Rumors of war. We hear about that, man. Plagues and pestilence, man. All right. Prophets, uh, uh, hopefully we're those men, beginning with our apostles and our elders and bishops here at Great Millstone on down to sincere brothers. And we pray that we're those men that, that Ezra saw doing what, man? Being being crowned uh, by that tall stature, which was Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right. For the ones that stood stiffly for the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So uh, continuing on Daniel 12 and four, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the word, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased. Once again, man, that knowledge has been increased now because we can type in pretty much anything that we that we want to find out. man. All right. We've entered into the labors of our apostles and our elders and being in the age of information, the Lord pretty much has made it easy for us to get it, man. And see, this is only for the election. Once again, Romans 11 and 7, the election will obtain it. We're not going to be using uh, this, this grace period and, and uh, using the opportunity to have this time to gain knowledge uh, uh, for, for just, for, for not, man, and, and for vain, man, for, for vanity, man. We're taking advantage of this uh, time frame that we're, that we're in right now to do what? Seek the Lord while he may be found. Pursuing Isaiah chapter 50, uh, 55 and 6, man. This is what we're doing. We're seeking the Lord while he can be found. And, and, and we're doing uh, our due diligence to make our election and our calling sure, man, because the scriptures let us know many are called, but few are chosen. All right. And we hope for humble, fearful elect, beginning with our apostles and our elders. Hey, we hope to be a part of that chosen that the Lord is going to have mercy on. All right. And when Yahweh Shai returns, that he's going to redeem. All right. Now, let's get real quick. Let's jump to Habakkuk just to uh, further elaborate on the fact that knowledge has been increased in this land. Now, this is Habakkuk chapter uh, 2, verse 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Yahweh as the waters cover the sea. Okay, so pretty much when you look at this earth, man, it's predominantly covered in water, man. All right, so that lets you know that this earth right now is filled with the knowledge of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai right now, man. All right, here it is. You have uh, Israel being the, the pretty much the hottest subject in the land, man, all right, and, and, and nowhere you go can you deny that, man, on every grand level, hey, the, the Hebrew Israelites is, is a talk, man, all right, and that's all courtesy of the, of the scriptures of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and also courtesy of the unicorn, the, 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 the internet, man, all right, because when we read, real quick, let's read uh, Psalm chapter 19, where the Lord is talking about that line that went out throughout the whole earth, okay, now this is Psalm 19, uh, starting at the top, it says, The heavens to the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of Yahweh, and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter of speech, and night unto night show of knowledge. There is no language, no, there is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Their line is going out throughout all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them have he set in tabernacle for the sun, 
All right. Now it says their line has gone out throughout all the world. So, I mean, throughout all the earth. And the only line that can reach throughout all the earth is when you're on the line, man, when you're on the Internet. All right. Because guess what? Our apostles and our elders, upon them being the fishermen of Yahweh Bashim Shai, fishing for uh, for men. All right. Hey, hey, they they weren't able to get on 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 um, any sort of transportation to go place to place to place to place to uh to to pretty much uh for our eyes to see our teachers. Our eyes saw our teachers courtesy of the internet, man, because that line went out throughout the whole earth, man. Whenever they uploaded those videos, what did they say? You're online, man. All right, and and you can. Find this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding any time of the day. As the scripture said, day unto day, night unto night, a show of knowledge, man. Going back to the knowledge being increased in this place, man. And the heavens declare the glory of the of Yahweh, man. All right. And when you look up, hey, even when you uh so-called save your files, they say your files are, are, are in a cloud, man. All right. But hey, that's that's the heavens, uh, and, and the firmament is showing the handiwork of the of the heavenly father, man. All right. So a hey, the internet really does that heavy lifting, man, all right, and, and it played a part in doing what, man, in, 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 in doing the, the work of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, and once again, exposing this, these devils as well, man, all right, so the Lord has shown us knowledge, sound wisdom, and knowledge and understanding uh, through our apostles and our elders, but them being diligent and doing what, man, following, following the Lord's lead and, hey, being diligent in uploading their videos online, and, and on down to us, us the Sir Archeum that does the same thing, man. All right. Now, um, that was that. Let's get, um, what was I going? Oh, let's get uh, uh, Acts chapter 17. Because in this time that we're in, all right, the age of information, all right, there's no excuse for our people not to know these things, man. And this is just one of many things that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should want to inquire to learn about. But once again, the election at this time is the only one that's going to be seeking and to, seeking Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, seeking the truth, man. All right. While the rest are going to be blinded, man. All right. And pretty much they're going to be uh, destroyed, man. Scriptures speak about that. Two thirds of our people are going to get cut off because they didn't choose the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. But the hopeful, humble, fearful elect are in this mind frame right here, man. They're in the mind frame of Acts chapter 17, if I may. And I'm just going to get straight to the point. Acts 17 and uh, 11. And it says, going into the uh, to the church of Berea. Okay. Now it says, and these were more noble men than those in Thessalonica. And that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scripture daily, whether those things were so. All right. So the church of Berea, and, and as you see the title right there, it says Paul at Berea. All right. Now, the church of Berea did what? It said they received the words with all readiness of mind. Going back to as we read in Revelation 1 and 3, blessed be that reader. Because when they was reading these words, they were getting an understanding of these words too. All right. Being an action, man. Being hearers and doers of the word. Because what did it say? It says, and they searched the scriptures daily, whether those things be so. And guess what they found out? That these things were so, man. All right. So this is why our apostles and our elders and the bishops tell uh, our brothers and Akim, younger Akims and and and, and Akwabs and, and and sincere believers and followers of Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Hey man, you have to be a hearer and a doer of the word. All right. Because what good is you if you reading the word and not putting the action in play, man? It's not. It's going to be in void, man. All right. Because when you read something, to read pretty much, it means to understand. All right. And our apostles and our elders and the bishops have done that, man. All right. Because not only are they hearers, but they're doers of the words, man. And not only do our eyes see what they do on camera and we, we see what, what what takes place off camera as well, too. It's not just a talking and faking the funk. It's a it's this is our lifestyle, man. All right. This is why the scriptures speak about when you renew in your mind. All right. To not be conformed to the ways of this world. And we see we have a lot of false examples, as we were reading Titus earlier, about the many and, uh, and unru unruly and vain talkers, all right, that are, that pretty much the Lord is going to put it into them, man, as we read that in Jeremiah 23 as well. Because the Lord is going to visit all those that uh, that that led the sheep astray, man, all right. But um, as I said, man, this was a very quick video, and I just uh, just wanted to harp on the fact of, hey, don't let your, your phone be smarter than you, man. 
just do that diligent search, man. All right. And the Lord, hey, the Lord, it is, it, it, we're, we're, we don't have much time left, man. All right. So the time that we do have, as the scriptures tell us, man, we should be seeking the Lord 10 times more, man, because hey, it was our mind to go astray, man. But now that we return, it's time to seek the Lord 10 times more, man. All right. So with that, I want to I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakak with Dash. Double honors to our apostles, bishops, and elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Until the next time, I do say shalom.